Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kevin here. And today I want to talk about my ceremony system. Now there've been a lot of videos from other DJs about how they set up for ceremony, what they use to make things more efficient. And especially for those remote weddings, uh, those remote ceremonies, what, how they use battery power to kind of help them so that they don't have to have electricity on site. So I want to show you my setup and what I've done with a couple things that I've learned and picked up from other DJs, but also just some innovations that I think I came up with so that my ceremony setup can be quick, simple, easy, reliable, and great. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and dig into things. There's really a few different parts to my ceremony setup. So first there's this bag which is my speaker and also um, contains a couple critical sundries. And my speaker is an Eon One Pro, which you'll see here in a minute, battery powered column array kind of speaker. But um, I'll show you it in a minute, but uh, this bag is actually for an Eon 815, I think, or 615, I forget the model number. But what's cool about it is it actually fits the speaker just well. Um, it's got this little rip away top and I can grab the speaker by its handle. Also in a pinch, if I am far away from, um, you know, the, the place where I need to go to do ceremony, these straps are, they're basically carry straps but they work really well as backpack straps. I can actually put this on my shoulders on my back. So uh, it just makes it nice and easy to carry if I need to. Because my other two pieces that I carry with me are this, and this is my actual little rig here with my mics in it. So I'll show you that. So this get little guy, and then this which is my little ceremony setup table. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up for you guys and then we'll talk about it. Guys, I'm going to take you off the tripod here and show you the setup. So here it is. This is the JBL Eon One Pro. My case here that houses all of my mics. And what you can see here, which I'll kind of go into some more detail, is there's a surge bar. And everything's powered by this battery right here. And um, I'm sure any kind of battery would do, but what this does, of course, is allows me to go completely wireless because the speaker is wireless too. So here, of course, is my laptop running Rekordbox, and I uh, have an exact mirror copy of my main laptop on this laptop. This is a 13-inch MacBook Pro that um, has an exact replica of all my music and my playlist, everything. So what this does is give me a hot backup in case anything goes wrong. Plus I can interact with my music just as I would in normal, normal record box. So this is very helpful. So, you know, I'm not basically, um, you know, running off an iPad or an, a phone, which may not have the versatility that I need, like a hot cue or something like that to jump forward in a track. Okay. What else do I have here? Here is my mic rig. And I'm really proud and excited about this because I actually looked at several DJs who um, have put together these and uh, a couple, Rick Webb and DJ Barr and some others, um, use this SKB uh, box, which is great. It's a great little um, rack mount unit that is very lightweight, uh, but it's just, it's just perfect for what I need. 
and um, it's just enough to put in. I have three mics, okay, and I'm using this new uh, Shure SLXD4. So I'm very excited about these mics. They've been very good for me. Now, what I have here is this is the 4U short. It's not very deep, but um, the SKB fits everything just nice, and you can get these cool drawers. Okay, now in here, this is where I keep, you know, batteries, a couple extra little things, odds and ends. I keep my mics, these are my mics, okay? My handheld and two labs. So two labs and a handheld. So everything's right here in its, in its original bag and it can all go in this little drawer with uh, batteries and whatever else I want in here. This bag, you might have seen me take this bag off of, this was my, my little protection for my, my directional shark fin up there. So, any case, I'll show you that in a minute. But, um, this drawer fits all that. I've got my three shore units, and they're all connected uh, via network cable so that they can talk, and they're all part of the same network. So, you can kind of see shore one, two, three. And when you go to set them up, when you go to... Um, basically scan the frequencies. You can do group scan and it'll actually read the area and it'll set all three at the same time, which is really, really convenient and it makes sure that there's no overlap. So if we say, yeah, go ahead and assign, push down to continue, see how they all three blink? Okay, they're all set. All right, so it's just reminding us, sync those transmitters. Um, so in that case, we would want to take, of course, these guys out of their bags and, uh, you know, I can just show you, I've got my lav pack in here. Oh, and I've got some, got some wind packs or wind, wind covers just in case. Um, it's a windy day. Those things are awesome. You can get them on Amazon. Okay. Any case. So I've got my handheld and my two lav packs. Okay, you guys can kind of see how that's going. Now, also what I did was I used um, two BNC front-facing connectors and I'm using these half-wave antennas. Now, um, in the time-lapse, you probably saw me pull two out. I put one here and then what I've been doing is I use this BNC cable on this other this other connector, this other BNC connector. And I just run a wire up to the top of my JBL Eon. It's got a little hole in the top. And I'm gonna pull this off of here. Um, and I was able to find a screw that fit just perfectly in there, the right size. And guess what? With a little bit of gaff tape around the top, it's just enough to kind of like set it in the hole and catch. So it keeps it from going, you know, swiveling back and forth too much if I push it down a little bit. And I can aim it right at the altar. I can aim it right at my audience, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, my groom or bride, whoever I wanna pick up, the officiant, or whatever the event calls for. So this gets, gets above people's heads, okay? And it's high enough and directional, so I don't have any cutouts or anything. And then of course, I've got this half wave just in case. In some cases, I'll probably be able to just use two half waves uh, on these connectors, but um, you might wonder, how do I get that set up if I spin around um, and show you in the, in the mess here? <laughs> there are these combiners. Let's see if I can pull one out. Uh, not too visible, is it? There it is. You can see these combiners you can buy from Shure. This guy right here. And it basically combines the output, the BNC, from the two, I'm sorry, the three receiver units. So you use the two combiners, combine them, and then tie them into the BNC connectors here with some short jumper cables. So that is the setup here. And everything comes out, the three 
uh, receivers through these XLR cables here, these three XLR cables, and I plug them directly into my Eon. And my Eon's got its built-in mixer, which I love because it's super versatile, okay? So, of course, I've got my laptop plugged into this uh, 3.5 millimeter or eighth inch cable. I can do, on this guy, I can do Bluetooth. I could plug in another XLR. I've got these combo jacks. I can swap out mics. I can do a lot with this. And with the mixer built in, it's just one less thing to worry about or, or carry. And it sounds great. Um, this is a battery unit, as mentioned. Uh, you can see uh, it's fully charged right now. And I can definitely get three, four, sometimes five hours out of this. I, I never really pushed it that far, but um, you know, it's great because I can get to my venue, I can set everything up and do my sound check, get everything, get all my frequency scan, mic set up, sound check, and I can even let it play a little bit if I want to before the ceremony and then have plenty of power for ceremony. So that's kind of my setup for ceremonies. Now, a couple improvements I'd like to make. I'd like to probably think about getting another mic, okay? Another mic receiver, and I've got a blank panel here that I could put one in, but I'm just thinking of instrument coverage and things. If I think about this drawer, I think I could probably organize this a little bit better. It's kind of like I've got my batteries in here, I my mics I kind of just toss in here. Um, I think I could probably organize it a little better. Maybe, I don't know, maybe put in a little divider or something. In any case, um, this has been super effective for me. Um, I really like the compactness of it. You know, one other thing I was thinking of, I love this little fold-out table. Um, it's It's got a great surface, and it's you, you can kind of see I just put the the sides of my rack mount SKB. I kind of just set them here. And um, maybe I could find a way to have some sort of undermount or something where I slide those pieces here and it's a little less cluttered perhaps. Um, but it's working really well for me and uh, it's lightweight, it's easy to carry in. And you know what's cool is everything's kind of modular so if I have a failure, like uh, for example, if I lose my laptop or forgot it or need it elsewhere, I can plug in a phone. Again, I can go Bluetooth into the speaker. So that's nice. I also have been bringing a Beats Pill um, as a monitor speaker for my main setup. And I'll bring my Beats Pill in my pocket with me um, or my jacket or something. And that, just in case I lose this guy, which I can't imagine losing it, but if I lose the JBL, I could still quickly play like a recessional track or something. It wouldn't sound great, but I'd be able to play something. So guys, this is my ceremony setup, and uh, I hope you enjoyed kind of the tour and maybe it gave you an idea or two on something that you can do to improve your workflow or your setup for wedding ceremonies. Thanks a bunch, and I'll see you next time.